In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect to your Xbox Series X or Series S. So if you're trying to connect to your Xbox using the Xbox Console Companion app, you might have noticed if I press connect now, that it comes up with an error and will not let you connect, even though you have activated the remote feature. But as you can see, it says here, note on this app, streaming works from Xbox One consoles, but not Xbox Series X or S. So you need to press got it. You now need to completely close down the Xbox Console Companion app. Now you need to open up the start menu and you then need to type in Xbox. You will see an app that says Xbox. If you do not see this, then you need to open up the Microsoft Store by typing in Store and then selecting Microsoft Store. And you then need to go to the top and just type in Xbox. You now need to select Xbox app and you will then be able to press install. Also, if you do have the Xbox app installed, it's important to ensure that you do have the latest update installed. So to check this, all you need to do is keep the Microsoft Store open, click onto library in the bottom left hand corner, and you then need to click on Git Updates. If you don't have the latest version, then you are going to have issues trying to connect to your Xbox Series X or S. Now you have the Xbox app installed and updated, you now need to open up the Start menu again and type in Xbox. You then need to select Xbox. You will now have a window that looks like this. You need to go to the top right hand corner and click on the console icon. You will have a list of all your Xboxes that you have connected to the Xbox app. As you can see, I have the Xbox One and also the Xbox, which is my Xbox Series X. If you do not see your Xbox in the list, then the first thing you need to do is select your profile icon in the top right hand corner. And you then need to sign out and sign back in. But ensure you are signing into the account that you are currently signed into on your Xbox. That also brings me to you need to ensure that your Xbox is currently turned on. So if you can't see the Xbox still after doing that, then restart your computer and open up the app again. And if it's still not there, then you need to select see my consoles list. You now need to go down to the bottom right hand corner and you then need to select add a console. You then need to press next. And as I already said, you need to ensure that your console is currently turned on and you are signed into the same account on the Xbox and also the Xbox app. And it will then connect to your console. So I'm going to press close because I have already done this. So once you have done all that, you can then select the console icon in the top of the Xbox app and you can then click on Xbox and you will then be connected to your Xbox Series X or S. So that's how you remote play on your Windows computer. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, then click the like button below. And if you would like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.